Welcome back to Small Zoo Beginner, our first real, uh, first real map where we're just let go and told to do things. So I'm going to do a challenge as I'm playing through these. I am not going to sell anything. As in, if there's like excess junk out here, like there's like 30, because sometimes you'll be in levels with like $30,000 worth of extra trees lying around. I'm not going to sell them unless the tree is within a the boundary of an exhibit I want to build. Because then, then that's just going to make the animals unhappy and perpetually will fail me the scenario anyway. So I will do that. But like these roads, I can't sell them. These buildings, I won't sell them. I, ha I have to keep everything as it is. I can only add to it. So let's start out here. All right. So this, this scenario is pretty easy. It, they literally labeled these for you. Moose land, giraffe world, camel dessert. You know, it's just everything you need. Put my two uh, zebras in there. Put my giraffe in there. Put my two desserts in there. And done. And now they say, oh, yeah, you did that. Now you can purchase six more animals, even though we only need three more. All right. We started out with 75000 as you saw, so pretty pretty decent amount of money. Um, let's keep up with... Well, first of all, can we get metal? Yeah, metal benches. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. So some of you may have noticed that I had already failed the challenge because literally the first thing I did was change up how the zoo was. So, yeah, that's, uh, that was dumb. So I had to restart. All right, back to work. All right, don't you guys want to rock? Don't you guys want to rock? Uh, where are rocks? Do you play this game ever? Where the hell are... There you go. I'm like, I'm pretty sure they don't have rocks in any of the exhibits, even though they are required. Like, if you don't put rocks in there, it, they won't have maximum happiness. And if you have things like Arctic wolves, which are very particular with how they want things, you're going to end up failing. You're going to end up in big trouble immediately. Now, let's not fail the challenge by immediately removing the benches that are already there. Let's just expand the ones we have. Uh, I won't count paths. I can't delete paths flat out, but I can replace them. Just because I'm not going to hold my I'm not going to hold myself to the utmost highest of standards. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Welcome back to my Zoo Tycoon No Cell Challenge run. I'm going to attempt to see if I can beat every level in Zoo Tycoon Complete Collection without selling anything in the game at all, unless. I accidentally place it, and I can remove it with the undo. Terrain doesn't count, because, you know, terrain goes over terrain. Not, you can't do that. But I, I can't, if there's, like, random junk everywhere, I can't, I am not allowed to sell that. So, for instance, I'm going to place a compost heap over there. And once I've done that, and I put down, let's say, a bench over here, I can undo the bench. I can't undo the compost heap. See, like that. I can undo that to fix it, because there was a misclick, but I can't I can't delete anything that's already in the zoo, which won't be a problem as you go on, because I think some zoos have, like, no infrastructure. Although I know one specifically is going to be very hard, because I won't be able to break anything. So, so like, these fences, I can't sell that. I can replace it with an existing fence, but I can't change what this is, which is going to make this very interesting, and we're going to need more money here, so... Let's immediately raise all the prices of things. We don't even have any animals, and we're already raising the prices. Well, we're going to lower the prices of the entrance because um, the way this game works... Oh, just just to clarify. So they have all these exhibits already built because it's, this is the first map. So we have, like, Giraffe World, Moose Lodge, and Camel Dessert over here. So you just put in your zebras and your camels and your dessert toppings, and then... Oh, you got unlock, unlock more. You only need three more, and then put those in there. Which reminds me, I think they want rocks. I know that the when you get in the later missions with like Arctic wolves, they go insane if you don't have rocks in there. Right, get rid of that. No. So I'm gonna have to be very careful with how I do this, because I could easily do something they don't like. Wait a second, there's no water in this exhibit. How are they gonna live? Do they want water? Do you care about water? I guess not. I know they drink water. It's, I guess a camel might not. Do you care? That's well suited. All right. Well, whatever. 
So this is going to be a really pain in the ass in, in scenarios where there's already pre-existing paths, because guests will always follow all the available paths. So that means if there was a path to here, they would walk around this, and I, they would get they would get really angry and stuck. So, I also found out there's a bug with trash cans. If you put them too close, if you surround them with objects, it prevents a uh, maintenance worker from fixing them, so from cleaning them. So there's that there was that wonderful bug that I'll eventually run into. So uh, that's gonna be a great thing to see. All right, let's not start with the decor. Let's get get this place set up. All right. Well, I don't want people going over here. Yeah, see, guests are saying the entrance fee is really good value. So how this works is that each, there's tiers of everything. $19.50, I think it's 50 cents, but I'm going to keep it at 19 just to be safe. $19 is the range for where they think it's a good price. And if it's a good price, you will get more visitors. I've increased funding, so I get even more visitors. Eventually, I'll increase this to $29, which is the highest you can go before the guests start hating the price. It works the same with the drink stands. The lower it is, the more people will visit, but the less money you'll make. And there is a ratio you can get to that will actually work quite well. So let's get this set up. Uh, I want to use metal benches. I don't know. Okay, this is probably something I have to... I mean, I've been to plenty of zoos, but in this game, the way the game works is that metal benches and metal... Uh, can I not build metal normal benches? No. All right, so you can purchase large bench. You can purchase metal benches later, and those actually are more comfortable than wooden ones. And I've not really known that to be the case, because wooden ones at least don't heat up as much as pure metal, but that's just me. What do we want to put here? What have we got? We, oh, we got kangaroo. Kangaroo are nice. They're a nice little uh, introduction animal to make, because they don't have the greatest of needs. Although I'd say the African warthog is the best, because they're, they're what I like to call breeder animals. I also like to name my exhibits. Kangaroo County. That's good enough. But as I was saying, uh, one of the, you know, I, I call them breeder animals. And the reason they're called best, the reason I call them best, because when they breed so fast that by the time um, that they, that you can just constantly keep selling off their babies for like $400 a piece. Savannah, sand, dirt. All right. So let's start with the savannah. Uh, it's a really bad idea to do an all replace. Because they don't usually want all of that. But, wait, do you want water? Always put water up front so the guests can see him. Because if the guests physically see the animal, it's more beneficial. Put my dirt around there so it looks like mud. I always like giving a little bit more, like, realistic aesthetic to things, you know. Adding, like, paths and things. Oh, I don't like that. They want sand, I know. Okay, not that much sand, apparently. Uh, not enough savanna, not enough sand. Too much dirt. Uh, do you like the termite mound to save money here? Damn it, no. Little rock? Their rock ratio is very specific. I've, I remember wa reading a uh, walkthrough a long time ago. Oh, I don't like that. How about the umbrellas? I don't like umbrellas. What damn tree do you like then? Hard quad... The dong tree. You want the dong tree, huh? I'm on it. Find me the dong. Oh, of course, it's one of the most expensive trees. Sons of bitches. It's really sad, though, because... Uh, the... Um, all, all of the animals have set appeal ratings, meaning that... They will only be liked so much by guests. So there's certain animals you should always make like lions, while gazelles don't ever really have that appeal rating, which I find kind of sad, because it just means that there are certain animals you never want to make them. All right. Let's add, let's add some decor over here. That way it keeps the guests happy. So if you don't have enough decor, if they can't stare at something pretty for like eight seconds, they all get angry at you. Keep it the aesthetic of the white fence. Yeah. And another thing I learned real quick, if you don't put benches everywhere so they can sit down every five feet, they always get pissed at you. Alright. Nobody goes to the camels, because fuck the camels. I think they have one of the lowest ratings, too. Where's my zookeeper? Which reminds me. Staff education. Always research staff education. 
What is more efficiently? I hope that's just faster. All right, so we need... What is our goals? Uh, six animals. All right, so we're almost there. What do we want in here? Uh, oh, camel gave birth. Very slow birth. But, oh, do I have any breeders in this mode? No. Anteaters and uh, African, African, I think, warthogs are my two favorite for uh, just a constant flow of money. It'll just always get you what you need when you need it. Ah, uh, that's not going to work out as well as I wanted it to. Shit. Darn it. All right, we'll put it here. We'll do this. Then. They're going to have to go through a winding path, but whatever. All right, what do we got? We got Bengal. Let's do a Bengal tiger. We did that in the tutorial, so... I don't ever, never, I don't ever know when to use like the fences. Like this is a very strong fence. This is a strong fence. This is an average fence. Uh, this is a weak fence. Like I don't understand animal strengths. Like can a, I bet a lion could like smash your skull, but I don't know if it could smash a chain link fence. I mean I've seen the Tiger King, and it, I don't, I don't think any of those could bash through a fence. But uh, well, let's put the animal in first. All right, what the hell do you want? Uh, rainforest, fresh water. Well, let's start with fresh water. I'm gonna make like a little river. Let's have it go this way. Alright, well, stop there, I guess. Add rainforest around it. Oh, wait, do you want dirt? So I wanna put dirt around that. Yes, you do. Most animals want dirt. Not that much dirt, apparently. Is there anything else you want? Too much grass, rainforest. Just rainforest. So that's. Uh, Fill the rest of the exhibit with that. Once you've got enough guests in, I'll raise the entrance fee again. Oh! Uh, more foliage, shelters. Alright, so you're getting a... I don't like the shelters, though, in this game. They're always so generic. They just feel like there wasn't really much effort put into them. You know, they're just generic, boxy structures. Some of them are concrete, some of them are not mangrove trees. One thing Parkosaurus did fine, but I wasn't really into, was that the uh, buying system for the food, where you could actually run out. It's one of those things that you kind of want in the beginning, and then you realize that it's just kind of annoying, doesn't really add to the experience. There we go. Perfect. So now we've got a Bengal tiger well-suited. Now we just need one more. And how long do we have left? I think this is six months. Yeah. So we're only, we're getting close to halfway. And we still got 40k. 79 guests. Once that gets up to like 300, I'll raise the uh, entrance fee. What are our guests doing? Nobody's thirsty, hungry, or tired, so always a good sign. Put some benches here, so our idiots our idiots can sit down when they don't don't realize that you put them right in front of the exhibit. Because when they're in front of the exhibit, they'll always take pictures instead of sitting down for some stupid reason. Ah oh, man, I hate these people. What? Who the hell threw pieces of trash on the floor? Also, what the hell, janitor? There are things guests hate also that you have to watch out for. I'll put a trash can right there. So I think this trash can might not ever be able to be emptied because of its location. Maybe this one too, and this one kind of kind of scares me a little bit. But there are certain things guests actually hate to see. Um, one of them is trash cans. The second one is they hate to see bathrooms. Only single bathrooms, not double. And the way to get around that is that one of the downloadable content that you had back then, using that option on the menu I may not have shown, where it says get item, there is a, uh, where is it? Uh, there's a fancy bathroom somewhere. Oh, here it is. The fancy bathrooms. This will actually increase their happiness to see the fancy ones. And it's only slightly more expensive. Yeah, they're only $100 more expensive than their counterparts. So, And they make guests infinitely happier. So it's like, it's one of those things where I always say to myself, just get it, you know? Like it's just going to make guests happier. It's going to take out the crap of them being upset at everything. All right. Let's... How do I want to do this? Put a path here. Put a path to here. Let's block off here to prevent them from going in there. Let's block off past here. So they can't go too far down. Zookeeper training one. So keep her competence one increased. Yeah. Alright. Uh, what animal do I want to put in there? Let's just do the lion. If you're going to go this far into the exhibit, you want to see something really cool, right? Let's use the brick wall. 
I don't ever like using this design of like I think they use I think this is probably why I use Oh I forgot the name of the exhibit. The tiger mangroves. And then this is gonna be lions, so do the lion den. Um, I think that I, I hate doing this because it just it always upsets the animals. And I think that because of this is the reason I do it. I'm gonna put a sign there and I just realized that there's, there's no animals in it. I like to imagine it's just blank that's just says coming soon. Someone walks all the way and goes, oh. Is that compost making any money? 400 bucks. Alright. Uh, I don't know why you put two males in there, but. Uh, not a freshwater, wants a toy. But savanna grass is the main thing on your list. So let's get you some savanna. Alright, so that's not the biggest loss there. That becomes very inefficient later when you use snow terrain, which is the most expensive at $100. Dirt down. Really upsets me how inaccurate their uh, like system is. Like they'll like things that they really shouldn't. You know, really they're actually upset at, but they, the game won't tell you that they're upset with it. That you know they'll tell you now, but sometimes they'll be like, "Oh, actually that was too much dirt." But they were still giving you happy faces, so it's like it, it's like the game it's like the game didn't update. I don't know. Give you tanning salons. Bengal Tiger One can't find you food. Well, easy answer to that. Put a zookeeper in there. Go mate with that lion. Do it. Plunge inside of her. Make me money. I mean, money. Yeah, put a big one there. I think you guys like. Uh, I think you like the Umbrella Corporation. Yes, you do. So let's put in trees by the Umbrella Corporation. And, uh, do you like termites? I think you do. Yes, you do. Excellent. And that's it. That is the, uh, scenario. We've actually completed it now. We've only got, we've got, a, what, still just over two and a half months remaining. And we're just waiting, we're just gotta wait out the timer now. Let's see if you guys want any more rocks. You do. They always have these little extra things where it's like, oh, you want to go above and beyond and make them even happier? Maybe I could have put down a second termite mound. Nope. I don't want that. Nope. Okay, so I finally hit the max that they want. Well, what else can we do besides raise the prices of everything? 126 guests, though. This early on, that's pretty good. I've failed some zoos just because I only got... I had a had to have like eight exhibits and I only ever getting ever got like 200 people in which reminds me we need to check our pluses and minuses here well not pluses and minuses our uh, our profits all right so our two stands are doing moderately well just means that we don't have enough guests coming in yet that's pretty everything up you yeah. know my favorite thing to do it's my favorite part of zoo tycoon it's what I sp spent most of my time doing but oh wait I should have put the giraffe right there Oh. oh. Oh, well, no. I couldn't put him there. So, Polar bear. Oh, wait. There's a lion, isn't there? There's a lion decoration. I know there is. I remember that. Put you right there. Oh, man. We're getting, like, insane with this decoration. It's funny with these flower beds. Each flower bed is, like, by a different kind of guest. Um, either male or female. Or, or a, male, a, male fe a male adult. A female adult. A male child. Or a female child. And it's so weird. You might as well... How did you get over there? I, I roped that off for a reason. Yeah. Upgrading our zoo training. This is, like, the most important. And unfortunately, I think it's semi-random. It basically determines whether or not... Because it basically determines whether or not you're going to succeed. Because every time they go into exhibit, they can make the animals happier. They can do their job better. I think one of them is just moving faster. In fact, I wish there was a cheat to make the guests move faster. Where are you going? Get back on the path. Why are you walking behind things? Where do you think you're going? God, this, these guests. I'm going to beat them all to death. Oh, my God. Fence. 
Why are you going around? Oh my. I'm gonna hurt these guests, man. Off. Limits. To you. Not allowed. This is probably the- this is probably what happens with real zoos. You know, just stay in the damn path I made for you. We poured all that concrete for a reason. So that way we could present nature in an artificial way. I don't know if these benches restore any of their... Three minutes left. I don't know if these b benches restore any, uh... Any of their, uh, energy. Guess the captain's 85. We got a hungry guest. How did you get the hell over there? Ugh, man, these guests. Alright, well, that one's an easy one. I can just lock those off, and they can't get through. Their pathfinding's garbage. They should all... If you... Funny thing is, you'll see them path... Yes, yeah, see, look at that. They pathfind all the way out there. But guess what? If you were to remove this path right here, they wouldn't know how to get into the zoo. So, this is a game problem. I think they like this. Oh, no, maybe they're neutral to this, I think. I think that's how it is. They're actually neutral to the, uh, to this fence. Good. Now, I've locked off every way for you to be an idiot. Because I can't trust you guys. I can't trust any of you to do anything. Right. There's really no, like, reinforced one that looks right over here. Because I always associated this one with the chain link fence. But there is a stick one I can use. You can't place it over the sign, unfortunately. Is there one that looks like the dreary camel one? The average fence? I don't think there is. No. But just the standard wood, I think, I think fits. I wonder if that prevents them from sitting down. Knowing this game, it probably does. I know there's one for the rock one. Yeah, there we go. I guess like standing under those, so. Although they put the stick ones here, which, you know, I guess, whatever. I like to match. I'm gonna undo that one. Because I'm allowed to undo. I think they can't even get over there, but whatever. This looks like something that would just give you a weird suntan instead of any shade. Come out of there just looking like you're covered in, you know, sunburned polka dots. You got UV polka dots all over you. So you're rating 83? His happiness is going up. Angry guest! What the hell are you angry about? I don't like this here. I'm going home. What the hell's wrong with you? Do we have a lot of, like, thirsty guests? No, we have one that needs to use the bathroom. All right, well, let's put a bathroom out there, just in case. Let's put a bathroom out there. And I guess one out here. Because they like the looks of these, so they won't actually complain about it. I guess we have, actually. Making some money, too. 162. And benefactors. That's that's donations right there. That's automatic donations. So, what are we researching, by the way? Oh, tour guide training. The tour guides are useful. I don't know. I know they increase a little bit of guest happiness, and they're kind of that way you can cheese the guest happiness to get up. But they they're more they're more or less useful trying if you because you can select where they go. For example, if I wanted this zookeeper to only do these three exhibits, I could do this, and uh, which I will actually do. Where's the other zookeeper, by the way? I got zookeeper one and zookeeper one. That's not confusing. Empty that trash can. Thank you. It's probably been full since we started the game. But yeah, you can do that same thing with the uh, tour guides. And what they'll do is they'll run to that exhibit to that exhibit. So what you do is you always make them go to a first starting exhibit right by your entrance. And then you send them to the farthest exhibit so they get the people all the way to the end. And it makes them tired and then you put a bunch of benches and food and stuff around there. It's a nice way of making money. Ensures they're tired and ensures that you get paid. Who else is complaining? Who's thirsty? I guess I'll just put another... Maybe the drink stand can't handle it? I don't know. I usually don't like... Get on the damn path. Fine. If you're gonna be that way... 
We'll put, we'll put some path there. That way you can get on. Where the hell are you going? There. Make you happy. Because I know guests instantly lose happiness the minute they touch grass. So. We've only got eight grand, but our buildings are all making money, so. Like I care at the end. <laughs> at the end of the day, as long as all of our structures are producing cash, I mean, there's not really much you can complain about. Fifteen fifteen hundred dollars, that's a lot. You always want to increase the price of these things ever so slightly, just to make that much extra. Alright, how many guests do we got? Yeah. I usually like to wait till I've got around 250 before raising the price. I think the number of guests, because I know in Roller Coaster Tycoon, the number of guests you're allowed to have, it's actually a calculation that uses the number of attractions you have. And I bet it's the same thing for this game, except it's the number of animals. Or maybe just exhibits. Same as you could just cheat it by putting little exhibits everywhere. 1300 from that, man. Before this, I don't know, I don't, it just sweeping up the poo was just a large waste, I guess. I think the di dinosaurs are most efficient with the compost building because it's actually based on the size. And they do consider dinosaur dung uh, just the base kind larger than, you know, this. And it is, you know, physically, it's also much larger, so you get a lot more out of it. Because I think this one is, I think it's either 25, 50, and 50 and a, or 50 and 100. And the other one's like 100, you know, 100, 150. So you just get a lot more out of it. Yeah, it's got so that's got to be 100. So I think it's, a, I think it's 50 and 100. 189. Man, we got a lot of guests in coming into... I didn't even know what my zoo was named. Little Bird Zoo. It's one thing I really don't like, is that there's, you'll sometimes see decorations out here you can't make. Like, right now it's just trees. It's all the trees that you're used to. Although it's funny that none of these trees are, you know... I don't even think any of these trees are gr just grass trees, but whatever. But sometimes you'll find, like, vehicles out here in parking lots, and it's kind of sad that you can't make any of that. Ooh, the duck pond. Yeah, I love the duck pond. Got my duckies. Put that right there. Gotta make it cooler, though. How do we make it cooler? Well, we're surrounded by flowers. That ought to get guest happiness up, which just went down for some reason. Getting guests... The two hardest things in this game to maintain is guest happiness and zoo rating, because some of these will require you to get them up to, like, 90 or 95, and that's not easy. Because basically you have to address every problem with the zoo. You have to you have to always use the best burger stands and family restaurants, you know. This game... I like what the... Uh, I mean, I think they patched it later on. There's, there, I know there's a patch that came with this version, but I think that was already included in, in Marine Mania. I wonder what that patch fixed, actually. I can't imagine. You know, I mean, I guess there's a, probably a whole bunch of things, but I can't imagine that too much really got fixed. I think that... I also think decorations are only a small part of what make people happy, so even if I were to fill all of this with the right amount of light with flowers or something, it wouldn't make them 100% happy. I mean, that's how the calculation should work, at least. Who knows how it actually works. Ducky pond. God, they just leave these trash cans here. Oh, finally. We'll be able to repair exhibit fences faster. They repair them almost instantly anyway. Not even like that's useful on a map like this, because... Or a scenario like this, really, because... I mean, we're almost at the end of it, and it's only six months. I mean, at the end, once June ends, we're, we've completed the scenario. We don't have enough money, though, to really do anything. All right, there we go. Let's raise that to $29. Now that we've got people coming in the zoo, let's start making money off admissions, because I'm pretty sure if we were to look at our charts... Yeah, admissions are like $2,700. Concessions are 1600 Now this is going to go way up. And we'll actually make a profit for one of these months, because as you can see, our net income is negative $67,000. We haven't made... We basically aren't really making any money. Although our zoo value is only 103000 which I think is probably a factor of t factor of 10 or 100 less than what, this what the value of this zoo would actually be, because can you imagine putting these bricks in? That'd be probably a $100,000 job right there. Ugh, oh, of course. All the dinosaur digs and marine mania stuffs in here, so now we have... You know, the, oh, they can fix so uh, water pumps faster, tank pumps faster. It's like, great. I can't even make any of those animals, can I? No, but I think the polar bear can. Can have that part of his exhibit. Which I think they adapted for the later games. Like, you can actually give him a real, uh, a real tub to be in. You know, like a real tank, as we saw in the tutorial. Instead of just putting half his exhibit as water. 
One thing this game could definitely benefit from is a, a speed-up timer. No joke. This game really needs that. If it, if you could speed this up at any point to make it go a little faster, such as, uh, you know, as I, I keep mentioning, Parkasaurus does, God, this would be so much easier. Because you get to some of those 12-month or 2-year scenarios, and you end up just sitting there the whole time. Oh, I don't even have a gift stand. Everybody walks this way. Damn, can't put that there. Put them right here, though. Let me set it up. Make sure everybody is, uh... Uh-oh, we've lost guest happiness. And zoo rating. What effect... I know I know what affects zoo rating, but I don't know what affects zoo rating. You know? Still get more guests, though, so... This admissions is going to be vital to our survival in later scenarios. I mean, we still haven't even broke even for one month, and we're almost at the end of May. Although you can see how much more we're making out of the admissions now. Well, we've got this scenario in the bag anyway, because it only really cares about having uh, an average animal happiness of 80 and exhibit suitability of six, uh, for of 60 for six animals, which is pretty low. Basically meaning that you could have done half as much as I did and still win the scenario. It's pretty forgiving. Only one month left. Oh, and I put it right there at the end of the month, so it, it had to pay out its money. Uh, that's one part of the simulation I've ever really liked. You can, is that if you hire staff members at the end of the month, you have to pay all their salaries immediately. I'm guessing. Oh, we made money last time. 884. Excellent. And there's the zoo marketing. Although it went over a thousand dollars, so I wonder how that's how that works. There's a guest in. I think it's a guest like in the bathroom has to go to the bathroom. There's a thirsty guest over there. There's a hungry one over there. Although you just passed. Oh, well, he didn't only passed one. Okay. I'll let, you, I'll, I'll let you off with a warning this time. Um, I know pizza stand. So burgers, I think, is neutral to everybody, but pizza, actually, they like. Although, let's give them the fancy hot dog stand. Let's just do that. See if that makes any money. If it doesn't, I can't destroy it. Anyway, where are you going? Back on the road. Any other guests that's just wandering off into the middle end of the wilderness? God, we're going to need a search and rescue for everybody at this rate. I want to fence this off, but if I fence it off, I can't ever unfence it, so. Man, this is going to be an annoying challenge. I found some decorations. I don't really want to. I don't like building an extra animal on this scenario, only because it's just a little too risky. Because you have enough money to do things, but you can quickly run out. And I also want to try to make this a challenge where I don't have to take the $10,000 donations at the end. If I can do that, I'll be very happy. Must be some, from some favorable rounding there. Because, uh, that should be... I mean, I guess it rounds down because it's a whole numbers, but I don't think that's... I don't think the chart's whole numbers, is it? No. What? Oh, that's average. So, okay, yeah, I was going to say, how do you get 83 cents? Can I charge 83 cents? I don't think I can. It only goes up in increments of 25, of, uh, 25 cents. 350 for a hot dog, though. That's probably not any... any Too much more different than it actually is in real life. Although a burger for 450 is, you know... That's McDonald's levels of, uh... Of, quali of food quality, so this is not exactly the highest. Which reminds me, I could change the color of all my buildings. Are these different color? No, but they look like they're different color. Yeah, I don't worry about that right now. Where are my maintenance workers, and why are they not taking care of these trash cans? Where are you guys? I'm gonna fire you. Get over there and empty trash can. You. Trash can. Man. Hey, we finally completed all research. Excellent. Decrease, max, decrease funding there. Animal enrichment, animal care. I don't really care about those. We're not gonna be in this. We're not gonna be in this situation long enough to have to deal with that. All right. You know, while we're waiting, let's actually check. What does the zookeeper ones do? There's two of them. Animals will become happier when the zookeeper enters the exhibit. Zookeepers will be able to feed the animals more quickly. Although that's a running animation speed. I wish. It, I mean, are they just faster? Let's check. Perhaps they are. Although that's a weird way of saying it. 2400 bucks. It's a weird way of stating it. It's just like the last one. Everything's making money, so we're doing pretty good. Although the fancy hot dog stand is only going to just come in under... Because it's $150, so it's going to be negative after this. Same with the... I don't think the gift stand, though. I guess happiness is up, though. Yeah, upkeep 50, but this... Upkeep, yeah, the ice cream stands upkeep's 150, so. 
Definitely the drink stand and the burger stand are making the most thing, but these are kind of new, so I'm gonna give them a break. God, I hope it makes its money back, because if it doesn't, I can't get rid of it. So yeah, nearly 250 guests, and we're coming up to the end of the month. This is excellent. This is an excellent start to a series I find that I think that's gonna go 100% downhill from this point. What the hell? Ma'am. Ma'am. I saw you. I saw your bitch ass. Got my eyes on you. Well, I guess the happiness is sit still sitting there and zoo rating still sitting there. I bet if I were to replace the bathroom and the uh, burger stand and the drink stand with the fancier ones, they'd be a little bit happier. If these were metal, as long as, as well as these were metal benches, if I replace this, if I put seating here and the gift stand here along with the signs, but you know, we were given parameters and we solved them. So we we worked we worked with within the parameters we were given. Yeah, I've not actually seen a guest sit down at one of these yet. I wonder if that's even possible. Wouldn't surprise me if this game is bugged and wouldn't allow them. I mean, I'm just not paying attention. I hope they can still sit at them. I'll be upset if they can't, because this is a waste of benches, then. Hey, we won! There we go. That's the first scenario completed. So, expect the next one to not go this smoothly. Be free, animals! Be free! Now that the scenario's completed, you can go sit- you can go help everybody. Go meet them all. There is no escape unless you want the electric fence. Bengal Tiger 1 can't find any food. Sir, I'm gonna have to inform you that the food is all around you. And it's escaping. 